Relocations are on the rise, but how do they work and what's included? That's what we're talking about in today's video. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben Preston, author of Harness Your Butterflies and creator of the Career Accelerator Program. If you are new to the channel, if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button below. And if this video is helpful for you, drop a thumbs up. Without further ado, let's get into the video. A lot more people are taking jobs outside of their normal state or their city and moving somewhere else to just start fresh. Which got me thinking, we need to talk about relocation packages, what's included, how much does stuff cost, what are the benefits of you taking a relocation, all of that we're talking about in today's video. So let me jump over to my computer and we'll talk about the expenses. Okay, when we're talking relocation expenses, what specifically are we talking about? This is the general list of what you should be thinking about. The first cost is moving expenses. Moving costs are really dependent on how much stuff that you have, where you're moving to. Are you bringing a family? Are you flying? Are you driving? Are you hiring somebody? Are you moving everything yourself? All of these expenses, all the costs in relation to moving can really be variable and you have the option of looking up kind of an estimate. So if you're in negotiations, you're wondering how much that you should be asking for, you can do um, moving calculators on a couple different company websites. But generally, if you're doing a local move, moving can cost anywhere between 500 to thousand dollars. If you're moving across country, let's say you're moving from LA to New York, those costs can be anywhere between 5,000, 7,000, 10,000 dollars, depending on how much stuff you have. And with moving costs specifically, your level within your organization will determine how much they can offer you for relocation. The second cost that you wanna consider when it comes to relocation expenses is temporary housing, whether that be in the form of a short-term apartment, a short-term corporate housing, or maybe it's a hotel or something like that. You wanna make sure that you have some sort of expense or budget item to allow you to stay at a hotel while you're moving, to have a short-term, let's say, three-month housing situation. Typically, that level of costs, let's say that you're looking for short-term housing could be anywhere between $2,000 a month if you're doing a short-term corporate housing situation. So anywhere between, I would say, $500 to $2,000, depending on your situation. Um, I know that that can seem kind of expensive, but really moving and short-term housing are the two most expensive expenses that are on this list when it comes to relocation. The next big bucket is travel expenses. If there's anything that's relation to flights, gas, anything like that, that's actually getting your stuff from one place to another. If you need a rental car, that sort of stuff. Travel expenses, um, while they are on the list, some companies treat travel expenses a little bit differently um, depending on what level you're interviewing for, how much that they've given you for relocation, where you're moving from. If you're moving um, obviously from like two hours away, they're probably not gonna give you a ton of travel expense money, but if you're moving across country, for example, you'll have a bigger a bigger stipend for flights, let's say, um, or driving or things like that. And the last thing is just other expenses, other moving expenses. If they give you a lump sum of money, for example, they'll tell you that you can use those expense dollars for furniture, for things that you need to make your new home feel like home. Those sort of free form dollars are really nice to have if you can negotiate them. You're able to either buy things directly for yourself and you can get new furniture when you move, or they can just cover the cost of things that might go over. You can dip into that free form money or that extra other moving expenses and apply that toward your traveling expenses. Now that we talked about the expenses, how do you negotiate a relocation? Depending on the level that you're interviewing at, it's very easy to bring up a relocation as part of your interview process. Oftentimes the recruiter or the HR department, whoever you're interviewing with, will bring up that this position is located in X city and will require you to be at that location. At that point, you wanna make sure that you're talking to them and saying, I currently live here, I will be requiring a relocation package in the event that I do get the offer. This is important for them to know up front and you wanna make sure that you repeat it as often as you need to until you start to get the point that they're adding that into your overall compensation. It's important to bring this up early because it will impact if this organization wants to move forward with you or not. Next, you wanna make sure that you're reading the actual employment contract. What type of relocation are they giving you? Is it an assistance package that is expense-based only or is it a lump sum cash that you'll get paid out at the end? You need to make sure that you know this so that you can provide them accurate expense numbers when you submit your expense. Some organizations don't care what you spend. They'll give you a lump sum of $2,500 and say, feel free to spend this however you want. 
Other organizations say we will only pay for movers. We will only pay for airplane tickets. So you want to make sure that if you have that level of contract in your or that level of detail in your contract that you're able to actually do the expense or the estimates very officially and usually on the more expensive side just to give yourself some buffer room. Other things to consider when you're talking through re relocation is not only the expenses and the cities that you're moving to, but you also wanna take into consideration tax implications. And depending on the states that you're moving to, each one has a different income tax requirement in addition to all the other governmental forms and stuff, which we'll talk about later, uh, your tax implications will change depending on where you spend most of your year. So you wanna make sure that you are communicating with your employer that you're taking the correct amount out of your paycheck every month. You might have to fill out new forms, new governmental tax forms to make sure that you're taking out the right amount, but just to be aware, um, taxes are a big thing. So if you're relocating, make sure that you know what your tax requirements are for the role that you have. The second thing to consider is housing costs. Obviously, not every place in the US costs the same amount. If you have a relocation package that is really good and allows you to move to a more expensive area, make sure that you have a salary that is able to sustain your lifestyle and maybe able to pay your rent, pay your mortgage, all of that good stuff. And in addition to that, make sure that you're able to look at what other expenses are you going to be incurring that you maybe didn't have to pay for before. So for example, if you're moving from, the, in my case, I moved from Nebraska to New York City, there's a lot of new expenses in New York City that I didn't have in Nebraska, for example, the subway. Um, so things like that, you just wanna make sure that you figure out what other expenses are gonna be incurred as part of your relocation. The third thing that you wanna consider is family. If you're moving away from where your family is traditionally located, you're gonna have a harder time finding a support network right off the bat. Obviously this goes without saying, if you have kids, if you have a, if you have a partner, if you have whatever, um, you wanna make sure that you're considerate of their needs as well. And things like holidays, who are you spending holidays with? Where are you gonna be traveling to? Um, all of this stuff is important to keep in mind as you're relocating, if you're relocating away from family, what holidays are you coming back for? Are you coming back for birthdays? What are the costs associated with that? All of those things are important to consider. And lastly, the fourth thing that you wanna consider is any sort of governmental form, licensing, and mail. All of that stuff is a real pain in the butt. If you think about it ahead of time and you're able to make all of the changes all at once, um, it's pretty easy to do to license your car, to get mail forwarded, to get a new driver's license if you need to change your passport, whatever other government forms that you need to do. Um, as you're relocating, in my opinion, it's always easy to do those at the same time while you have them fresh in your mind and you know your address and you don't have to kind of go back and forth and look. Um, but that's the last thing that you want to consider when you're looking at relocation. Leave me a comment below. What other things are important to you as you're relocating to your new city? Any other questions that are left unanswered, uh, let me know in the comments below. And with that, I'll see you on the next one.